Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's your boy, the Franchise Guy, coming at you again with episode 109 of our Jacksonville Jaguars series, taking on you know the New York Giants. They have someone named J.J. Watt. And if you guys don't realize, J.J. Watt is a player we went after hard, like real hard, in in the free agency, his past free agency, just trying to, I don't know, just trying to be a a formidable front four is to have Sean Richardson, you know, Tyler Friday, Josh Allen, and, and J.J. Watt. You can't tell me that's a very mean front four. That is three superstar X-Factors on that top four right there. But we are, what, almost, we at? we're at 109 right now. I just recorded the final two episodes of our Jaguar series. So that will bring us to at least the launch of Madden 21, which does come out on the 25th of, of uh, August. Remember, stay tuned for our very lovely and hopefully very, you know, well-received, you know, giveaway starting the, what day is it? Starting July 25th for a up a free copy of Madden 25, which we give away on the 25th, so stay tuned for that. It will open up on the 25th of July. But yet Saquon Barkley right here last week had a pretty big week, 18 carries, 142 yards, two tutties. 84 was the long right there, so pretty good week for Saquon. It's a very mean team right there, and the more that comes out with Madden 21, I feel like the more people are going to be disappointed, that's just going to be Madden 20 again. And you got to think that the problem with Madden 21 is it's going into a console year. So you're going to have drawbacks, and the one good thing is, you said Madden 20, 21 is going to have, uh, whatchamacallit, they're going to have the ability to transfer over from old gen to new gen, if you have the, your owner head of franchise, the save file should save, uh, should transfer. Okay, that should that should work, right? I, mean, I haven't seen anything that confirms it, but that's the rumor is since it is an online mode. Uh, if it's not, I'm gonna be kind of upset with spaghetti and just not have I guess, the Madden franchise on on you know, the one or on the Series X supposed to us do on the one. But I don't know. Moving forward to that is you gotta think of all the games that are being delayed right now, you know. We'll talk about some other games, but NHL is being delayed until no, late November, early December. Or actually, yeah, probably late November because the season's not supposed to start till December 1st. And, you know, Destiny 2. You know, if you want to watch me stream Destiny 2 live on Twitch, it's on our Twitch channel. The link is in the description down below. But Destiny 2's Beyond Light DLC just got pushed back to November. That's a two month pushback because it's supposed to come out in, like, I want to say September 15th. And it got pushed back to November 15th, so a two-month pushback on a DLC, which, I mean, you can't complain. I mean, they want the game to be better than it is, so. But Madden's in a very strange, a very strange part of the development cycle that it, it's already had all of its, all of its, all it has to do is done already. But yet, you know, being pushed back is just the development, because last Madden came out early August, so it came out like the second of August. So. That's, that's the one downfall right there, is that you know, we had Madden early August last year, like the first week of August, now we're having it the last week of August into September. But besides that, I don't know, we're, we'll, get, we'll figure it out the more we go along. I already know what team we're going to be playing as, and I'm super excited to go back to that team. That's my little spoiler to you. Yeah, I'm just super excited to go back to that team, just to have like, an, like a real do-over with it. I'll, I'll go into more detail on why we go with that team opposed to any other team currently on the Madden. But I guess we'll get back to some highlights and commentating of this game as we get Charlie Kohler right there with a first down jet from over 100 yards already. Big hand off to ETN. Not just running slants right now as Anthony Schwartz right there hits the first down. Look at that. Look at that. Front three: J.J. Lawrence Tomlinson, Leon Jacobs, David Woodward, Danger Vathan, Owen Papo, 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 
City Jones, Jabo Peppers, and Ronnie McLeod. And that is just the Eagles secondary right there. That's all that was. That's Eagles secondary with Jabo Peppers. That's all that was. But Charlie Culler right there. No big body tight end. He is. It's down to the one yard line. And now I'm going to punch it in here. Dalton Crozen. Dalton Crozen gets his first rushing touchdown on the game right there. A little touchdown celebration. Yeah, that, that was a big highlight, by the way, in case you were wondering, in case you missed it somehow. Yeah, that was, that was one of the big highlights of the Madden franchise. Uh, you know, their big, you know, mutt notes, whatever you want to call them, the gridiron notes, I think they were called, that we now have user-controlled celebrations. Like, excuse me, that's, that's like your third point, was user-controlled celebrations. After they had already roped in, you know, face of the franchise, they roped in, they wanted to rope in a patch update. Okay, that's pretty, pretty dumb. And pretty gross and pretty wrong. Hashtag fix man franchise. But, there you go. Teddy Bridgewater swinging it, slinging it for the Giants. So they get the first down. They head up to Saquon Barkley. And Saquon runs into Dorian Hall right there. Dorian Hall, you know, big strong safety hit. He is playing the run pretty well right there. I mean, he's a pretty good safety right there. Can't complain with what he does for this team. Now first and 10. Number 39. That big body running back right there. As Pouncey goes down with an injury. They're not sure if that's Marquise or the other one. But that is a Pouncey goes down. And now there you go. Crossing over the middle. Jerry Judy. First down right there. Jake Fromm. Closing on 200 yards in this game. He's having himself a pretty good season so far. I would say myself at least. But first and ten, here we go again. Jake Fromm drops back. Jake Fromm check down to the tight end. First down. Got about 15 yards on that pass right there. 184 yards on the day total for Fromm. Three catches, 51 yards for Kohler. Now first and ten, here we go again. Jake Fromm drops all the way back over the middle, crossing route for number 86 right there. Believe that is. Tate Martell, yeah, Tate Martell making his NFL debut this game. Good old Tate. And over the middle again, is that going to be Tate Martell? It is Tate Martell, his first career touchdown reception in his NFL debut. Now third and four, here we go. Let's get stuck on defense right now. Give me Josh Allen, take him down, Teddy. Teddy Bridgewater did not stand a chance like that. Just following it. He's an absolute unit of a defensive end right here. Now second and seven. Hand off Travis E. Kennedy. He can get some wiggle room right there. First down a run. Just short of 20 yards. I actually know I'm totally the line. Two rushes for 15 yards in the day. I mean, that's just not great at all. Second and 10. Here we go again. Jake Fromm fires. Crossing path over the middle. Two number 12, Anthony Schwartz. He's going to get himself a first down. And then a couple extra yards, a 21 yard catch on that pass attempt right there. Now, first and 10 again. There we go. Jake Fromm going to lead his runner. And there it goes. Anthony Schwartz off to the races. Makes a man miss at the five. And a touchdown for none other than Jake Fromm. Anthony Schwartz gets it in the, in the end zone. Absolutely love to see that right there. That's going to be Jake Fromm's, I don't know, 37 touchdown this season? 27? I'm not sure how many touchdowns he had going into this week. He has 36, could have been 26. I don't really know. But first down for Bridgewater and the Giants. Let's check down to Saquon Barkley on short down right there. Now 30 inches. Can we get a stop right here? Josh Allen working that edge right there. But Nate Landon breaks up the pass. Oh, poor Teddy Bridgewater. Check down to Saquon was no good. Now field goal unit out here for the Giants. Can number two for the Giants take the field goal? It's up and it is going to be in right there. Burdens the score a little closer. It's going to be 28-10 now in favor of the Jaguars. Period flips over. Now it's to the third period. Here we go again. Bridgewater pass. Incomplete third and four. Not what you want to see right there. So... It's going to be a force of punt. Now first and 10 for Jake Fromm. Fromm wearing these very gross, you know, mustard-colored jerseys. Gets a pass in there to DJ Shark, number 17 for the Jaguars. First and 10 again. Jake Fromm drops back. Now the crossing route over the middle. It's going to be caught and held on to by DJ Shark. Shark just has his back-to-back -back catches this game on first down. Now, second and ten. Here we go again. Crossing out over the middle. 
And Fromm will be sacked on second down. He had his route open on the end, on the edge right there. J.J. Watt gets his third sack of the game. Now third and 19. Can Fromm convert a first down right here on third and long? And yes, he can. Be number 80 right there with the big catch. It's going to be Raheem Ishmael Jr. Has uh, not done much for this, you know, this team since coming here. But Travis Etienne is the opposite of that. He has done a lot for the Jacksonville Jaguars in the short time he's been with the team. But it's going to be 1,500 rushing yards on the season. Yet another touchdown to that to his very historic young career. And look at that, not even playing the D-line when Josh Allen comes in screaming for another sack, his second sack of the game. Josh Allen better than J.J. Watt. And it Could you imagine having Josh Allen and J.J. Watt on the same D-line? Third and 14, pass break up to the check down of a tight end right there. I mean, there's two new superstar abilities in Madden 21 that have been released that are check down superstars, which gives running backs and it gives tight ends better check down catching. So Lamar Jackson has it where you can check down to your, to, I guess, Mark Andrews better. So, and then Drew Brees also has a check down where it gives Alvin Kamara better catching. So I'm not sure why that's a thing when Madden, you know, all Madden already does that. And you even see it right here in All Pro that All Pro does it. So I don't, I don't really know what to, what to do about that. That's just going to be really annoying. Now, first and 10, handoff again. Travis Etienne. Not going to get a touchdown, but taking out the five yard line. Just short of 100 yards, 83 on the game so far. As Rodney McLeod Jr. makes a tackle. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Handoff to Max Borgie and Borgie. Now, Borgie the Corgi. I'm not sure what to actually call him, but his nickname is in there. I forget what it is. But Borges gets in there for the touchdown, his first on the game. Now, start of the second quarter, a fourth quarter, here we go. That's going to be a check down to Saquon Barkley. That's going to be a first down. Now second and five. Check down again to number 87 for the first down. Third and five. Teddy Bridgewater, again, just not running long. Number 83 with the catch right there. They're going to be sure the first down mark. They're going for a very long field goal. What is this? Almost the 60 yarder, 60 yard field goal attempt is up and it is. It's good. Um, excuse me, what? Number two, is, is that Aldrich Rosas? Is he making a 60 yard field goal? I don't think he should be, but I guess he just made a 60 yard field goal. That was 60 yards, right? Because that was the 50. Plus 10, yeah, it's a 60 yarder. That's. No, that's not how that's worked. Second and four, we're gonna get a first down right here. Now, first and ten. Travis Etienne, first down yet again. But here comes Jacksonville going down the field. Travis Etienne leading the way on the ground. Max Borgie, his very super backup right there, comes in. He has at 37 yards on the day to touch on the ball with four carries. Doesn't always get all of the handoffs, but. When Borgie does win the foot, he is very, very, very usable. He's out of the way. He makes the most of his touches. But 26 yard run gets down at the one yard line for ETN. So probably another frozen touchdown incoming. And there you go. First and goal. It's going to be a flag on the place. You see all holding on the one yard line. Are these the NFL refs that Dan Snyder had pay off? You know, he paid off. So, uh. You know, his team would win, but his team was just that trash, I guess. But just run it in again. Dolan Croson gets his touchdown, take him, unfortunately. But the Jaguars do beat the lowly Giants 42 13. 33 passing yards, 109 rushing yards. Giants just could not put anything together. Really unfortunate, not really. As an Eagles fan right here, if we can put the whooping down on the Giants, Cowboys, and the Redskins, I'm sorry, the Washington football team. Yeah, that that's a good day. It's a good game. But Etienne a touchdown, Dog Crows a touchdown, Max Borgia a touchdown. All of both, I guess everyone had a lot of touches except Zane Dudick. Sorry, Zane. Anthony Schwartz led the way with 99 yards and a touchdown. Jerry Judy had 63 yards and a touchdown. 
Kohler had 51, Chark had 42, 36 for Rager, 35 for Tate Martell with his first career touchdown. Ish found some yards instead of McClay Mannix. Josh Sills allowed three sacks to J.J. Watt. David Reese, uh, I'm sorry, Nate Landman led the team in tackles. David Reese was second. Josh Allen had two sacks on the day right there. Let's see, anyone else have any sacks or anything fun? No, not. Doesn't look like it as the Giants O-line just held held our defense in check, really. Kicking, 6-6 six for six extra points. No field goals attempted for Chase Vinatieri this game. Uh, punting, there's no punts. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you just hit that like button. Liking does help YouTube aggregators find their videos, which does, in theory, share the videos more in the recommendeds. Also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. We do upload daily content. But until next time, YouTube. Hope you have a great day. I can't make you do other things I just asked you to. But stay tuned for our Madden 21 giveaway. You know, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, I guess. I don't know.